few weeks ago, we showed you our prototype of an electromagnetic energy powered engine with active feedback that can generate up to 20,000 watts of peak power without the need for fuel. In a world powered by fuel, solar panels, and wind turbines, the idea of a machine that runs without any of them sounds impossible. Yet history has always flirted with impossible dreams. There are whispers of devices that could challenge the rules of energy itself. Machines that seem to defy logic, operating with no visible input, only motion, silence, and persistence. Among the dreamers who dared to imagine such things, one name towers above all others, Nikola Tesla. More than a century ago, Tesla believed energy could be free, as natural and abundant as the air we breathe. He envisioned a planet where no one paid for electricity, where the very fabric of the Earth carried power invisibly across continents. But his vision was silenced, his projects dismantled, and his reputation dismissed as eccentric brilliance. Now, in the quiet corners of innovation, a team has unveiled something they call the Liberty Engine 2.0, an electromagnetic device built not in a corporate lab, but in a modest workshop. It is presented not as science fiction, but as a rebirth of Tesla's forgotten dream. Tesla's dream and the fall of Wardenclyffe. Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower was not just an experiment in communication. It was an audacious attempt to build a worldwide wireless power grid. Rising nearly 200 feet into the air, it symbolized his belief that electricity could be transmitted across oceans without wires. He imagined farms lit without lamps, factories powered without coal, cities humming without fuel. But behind the excitement lurked fear. If energy became free, Industries worth millions would collapse overnight. Wealthy investors who initially backed Tesla pulled out, realizing his ambitions threatened the very foundations of profit. The tower, unfinished and misunderstood, was eventually torn down for scrap. Tesla's notebooks, rumored to contain designs for self-sustaining power devices, were scattered or locked away. He died in near obscurity, his reputation caught between myth and madness. And yet, the dream did not die with him. Whispers of his experiments lingered. Enthusiasts, tinkerers, and rogue engineers across generations tried to replicate his work. Most failed, branded as frauds or eccentrics. But the core idea, that energy might not need to be consumed to be created, never left the imagination of humanity. A prototype emerges, the Liberty Engine 2.0. Fast forward to today, more than a century later, in a modest workshop, far from the polished laboratories of multinational corporations, a small team of builders believes they've rekindled Tesla's vision. Their machine, the Liberty Engine 2.0, does not rely on fuel tanks, photovoltaic panels, or spinning wind blades. Instead, it relies on motion, magnetism, and clever feedback loops. At first glance, it hardly looks like the kind of invention that could change the world. The device consists of copper coils, a rotor embedded with powerful magnets, and a sturdy frame. Its simplicity seems underwhelming, even suspicious. But simplicity, as the team insists, is the point. By stripping away complexity, they focus on efficiency, ensuring that every component contributes directly to producing usable electricity. And unlike prototypes hidden behind patents or locked away in corporate secrecy, the Liberty Engine is presented openly. The creators film their tests, publish teardown footage, and invite scrutiny. Their claim is bold. This is no trick, no hidden battery gimmick. It is a functioning machine that produces its own electricity once started. The science beneath the motion. The operation of the Liberty Engine 2.0 rests on Faraday's law of induction, the same principle that underpins modern power stations. When a conductor, such as copper wire, is exposed to a changing magnetic field, an electric current is induced. Hydro turbines, coal generators, and nuclear plants all exploit this law, rotating magnets near coils to generate alternating current. The Liberty Engine condenses this into a garage-sized unit. At its heart are N52 grade neodymium magnets, among the strongest permanent magnets available commercially. These magnets, mounted on a carefully balanced rotor, sweep past copper coils salvaged from microwave transformers and rewound for maximum efficiency. 
Each pass generates alternating current, creating the electrical heartbeat of the machine. But the Liberty engine does more than simply mimic existing generators. Its true advantage comes from its rotor, crafted from a custom aluminum silver alloy. In conventional designs, eddy currents sap energy, converting valuable rotation into useless heat. Here, those losses are virtually eliminated. The result? Cooler operation, smoother spin, and dramatically higher efficiency. To maintain that efficiency, every coil is sealed in resin, every bearing aligned to microscopic tolerances, and every component balanced to avoid vibration. Nothing is left to chance, because even the slightest imbalance could disrupt the delicate flow of energy. The Feedback Loop what makes the Liberty engine distinct from traditional power generators is its self-sustaining feedback loop. Once the pull cord spins the rotor, the magnets induce current in the coils. A portion of that current is redirected into motor windings, reinforcing the rotor's momentum. This cycle, motion generating current, current sustaining motion, creates a system that appears to power itself. Unlike the fantasy of perpetual motion, the Liberty engine acknowledges that losses exist, but minimizes them so effectively that it remains running with only its own momentum. By eliminating belts, gears, and unnecessary moving parts, the system reduces friction to almost nothing. The use of the alloy rotor prevents wasteful heating. Strong magnets provide reliable induction. Each design choice, from materials to layout, contributes to one goal, a machine that keeps itself alive once it has been started. Powering the impossible. During trials, the Liberty Engine 2.0 ran at a steady 1,400 revolutions per minute, producing a constant 230 volts AC, the same voltage standard used to power homes. The team reports a peak capacity of 20,000 watts, enough to run multiple high-demand devices simultaneously. To prove the point, they hauled the machine far from any power grid, set up cameras, and plugged in a series of energy-hungry tools. A 27-inch iMac, a heavy-duty drill, a grinder, and even a water pump. Each one powered up without issue. The voltage held steady. The rotor did not falter. Devices that normally strain household circuits ran smoothly, all driven by the quiet hum of a machine the size of a workshop bench. The results astonished onlookers, not just because the devices worked, but because the Liberty engine itself showed no strain. Heat buildup was minimal, noise levels were low, and the steady RPM suggested a system running at remarkable efficiency. Answering doubts, the inventors knew skepticism would follow. Claims of free energy have been used before to peddle scams, and the scientific community demands hard evidence. To address this, the team released a complete teardown video. Every wire, every magnet, every bearing was laid bare. No batteries, no hidden generators, no sleight of hand. Just magnets, coils, and clever engineering. Of course, questions remain. How long can it run without maintenance? Can it be scaled up to power entire homes or even neighborhoods? What about long-term wear and tear on bearings, coils, and magnets? These are valid uncertainties, but the core point remains undeniable. The Liberty Engine 2.0 is not just a theory, it is a functioning prototype producing real, usable power. A glimpse into tomorrow. If machines like the Liberty Engine 2.0 can be refined, the consequences would be revolutionary. Imagine a future where every household has its own generator, immune to grid blackouts, free from rising utility bills, and independent of fossil fuels. In disaster zones, where power grids collapse, such a device could keep hospitals running. In remote villages far from infrastructure, it could provide clean light and water. Even space exploration might one day use similar systems for silent, efficient power. The team behind the Liberty Engine is already working on version 3.0, experimenting with stronger magnets, lighter alloys, and compact designs that could fit into smaller housings. Their philosophy is collaboration, not secrecy. They see themselves as part of a long line of dreamers who believe that innovation belongs to everyone, not just corporations with patents and profits to protect. The Spirit of Freedom Beyond the technology, the Liberty Engine represents something far greater. Freedom. 
Freedom from monopolized energy markets. Freedom from fossil fuel dependency. Freedom from the constant fragility of outdated grids. If electricity could be generated cleanly, silently, and independently in every community, the balance of power itself, economic, political, and environmental, would shift. This is not just an engineering challenge. It is a philosophical one. Are we prepared to embrace a world where energy is no longer scarce? Where power is as universal as air? The Liberty Engine 2.0 may not yet be perfect. It may face scrutiny, dismissal, or even suppression, much like Tesla's work did over a century ago. But it stands as proof that innovation does not have to follow the rules written by those who profit from scarcity. The story of Tesla reminds us that revolutions rarely begin in glass towers. They begin in humble workshops, in the restless minds of people who refuse to accept the word impossible. The Liberty Engine carries that same rebellious spark. Whether it becomes a global solution or simply inspires the next generation of inventors, it is a reminder that the boundaries of science are not fixed. They are waiting to be pushed. Perhaps the future of energy will not be forged in billion-dollar factories, but in quiet garages, powered by the belief that there is always another way. And perhaps, as Tesla once dreamed, the air itself will one day hum with power, freely available to all.